Thursday morning and my house is really quiet, so I'm gonna go. I've been just kind of having coffee and relaxing. I'm gonna go get myself dressed, do a little work. I'm I'm kind of trying to get myself organized into some degree of a schedule. And I, you know, sometimes I just sit here in the morning when everyone's gone and drink coffee and catch up on a little bit of news or whatever. And right now I was just watching about the um, hurricane and we'll see where it's going to go. They're not really even sure. I, I, you know, is it going to go out to sea? Is it going to come up and hit North Carolina? Is it, I think either way we're going to have a rainy weekend. Is it raining out now? I don't know. It's not raining up now, but uh, yeah, none of my workers are here today, so I guess they're not coming. The painters can't paint anyway, if it's going to be a really rainy forecast. So, so that's going on, and I, I, I'm kind of at, like looping around and around with this attorney thing. I found a really nice guy, but he lives in what uh, works in Westport, which is kind of far for me. So we were like wanting to do this together, John and I. And then someone told me that the DDS or the, the caseworker actually assigns a pro bono attorney to your case. And then I don't know how, as is our anniversary, which is October 3rd, Saturday. And I gotta think of something to do. 23 years, 23 years seems like a lifetime. It is a lifetime. Sometimes it's hard for me to like initiate myself when I don't have a specific plan. So it's really good if I have a schedule of some degree even though I know it always gets altered or I could say sometimes it's good not to have that because it's during these times that the most of my creativity comes out and my mind starts to go and I think of things that I like to do so it's like do I face real life or do I just edit a video and go buy some pumpkins I, I don't know well, hello, Thursday afternoon at 2.35. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a day. I was upstairs um, doing some wire, paying some bills, organizing paper stuff. And I went to get ready to go out, cook Henry out for a little walk and a little visit to the park. But I went to go put my jewelry on and my wedding band wasn't with my engagement ring. And I was like, oh crap. So I had one of those like two hour panic stricken, I don't know where my wedding band is, with my anniversary on. Anyway, it was just a freaky thing. It had attached itself to the back of one of my hair clippy things, just kind of got stuck on it. And then so when I put the hair clips away, I must have just picked them up and just like tossed them into the bin. Why I decided, I mean, I was just like, where could it possibly be? What was near it? Whatever. And there it was right in the bottom of the bin with all my hair clips after two hours of looking <laughs> so but the good news is I found it and I'm married again well Henry and I got to the dog park just in the nick of time because on our way home now it started pouring anyways going home to see what's going on with Daniel see if I can figure out something to feed Thomas for dinner because John went to his parents house tonight to stop by for a little while I can't remember exactly why to do something. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at. It's really kind of a mellow day. How old are you? Can't, I'm a I can't, student, I'm I can't stand it. And uh, tell me what you saw today. More and more and more. Any you had with the government. <laughs> uh, I was, um, yeah. It's so yeah, sad. Hall, it's just life, um, right? Same old song. Uh, That's what one of the guys on the news just said. Same old song, the song of death, so right? Second, it's raining out now. Oh, my hair's a mess from being at the dog park. Um, I had to go home minutes and when I got home the uh, TV was broadcasting that there was a, a shooting in Oregon at a community college and so far they were saying that 13 people were killed and 20 were injured and the shooter was killed and mentally disturbed um, and 
you know, you know how that feels here in Sandy Hook. It makes you sick, you know? Sick. It just keeps happening and happening and happening. And you just wonder, it's like, I don't know. I guess we, we can try to make changes and do something by you know, joining organizations and lobbying and advocating and trying to ch make changes in gun laws or whatever and mental health initiatives, but it takes so long for anything in politics to actually happen. And, and I don't know, I just feel like, like that guy said, there was one, one person they were interviewing, he says the same old song, the song of death, we wait till it happens, and then we broadcast it and overanalyze it like crazy, put it all over the news, sensationalize on people's grief, repeat the same things over and over and over and over and over, and then they just forget about it, in the media anyway. so sad to think that these kids were just going to their class and they had to deal with that. That anybody should have to deal with that anywhere they go. Little kids, big kids, old people, whoever should not have to go into their life, into a public place and have to fear for their life. But you just never know. That was a little small town in Oregon, just like this is a little small town here in Connecticut. I'm just a little upset right now. I feel sick. I really do. Look at that again. Oh, it's poopy. Oh, oh Henry, you're such a good little boy. Oh, ow. He doesn't ow. want to stay that way, though. No, he kicked me in the balls. Oh, Henry. Uh. Ah! Okay, hello, friends. Uh, it is, what is it? Thursday evening. And the nurses, I had two nurses here tonight because we're training um, a new nurse to work on some of the weekends, which is very exciting because I haven't had a helper for a while. It'll be every other probably weekend, but she seems very nice and um, I think it's a good fit. So that's really good. Sometimes it's kind of hard, you know, you get a lot of people get kind of a wave you know and then some of them seem like a fit some of them don't want to come back or whatever but this seems to be working out fine and I'm gonna feed my fish over here Daniel's already sleeping he had he had two nurses tonight and last night so I just kind of didn't really tape him that much because they were concentrating on being trained and uh you know, getting to know Daniel, getting to know his routine, going over all the nursing routine. They have a lot of paperwork they have to do. Nursing is a very paper intense <laughs> situation. Um, but it's all good, you know, it's all good. And John went up to bed already. He's tired and Thomas is wrapping up his homework. He had Band practice. It's freezing cold outside and raining. Let's go peek on Daniel. This is Daniel. Here he is. Snug as a bug in a rug. Boy, they took really good care of you, huh? He said, yes, I do. I always have to make sure he's covered. his toys with him. That's the wolf he got at the at the zoo last Friday. It's, it's really cute, see? Yeah. <laughs> he gets so many cute things. I love this boy. He's going to be 18 next month. He's growing up. Good night, Daniel. <laughs>